Well, well, abandoned griffins. Someone decided not to bother with repairs. I wouldn't mind making some extra silver. Let's round them up for extraction. Wait, Evo Life is on comms, and they claim this scrap steel for themselves. They're sending in a Titan. That's gonna be a show. I'm Del Model. Definitely a support. I can almost hear those microbots buzzing around. I see. It repairs every robot if it stands close enough. Very useful. It probably won't bring Griffin's weapons back, but at least they can walk on their own. Oh, look. There's a group of unaffiliated mercs nearby. Maybe we will have something to salvage after all. Come on, Heimdall. Show us more tricks. Hmm. Something's changed. Heimdall deployed frontal shields and an additional energy cannon. This guy sure plans on staying at the front line. And there's more. Now it also boosts those griffins' damage. Poor raiders never stood a chance. So Heimdall has two modes. One for repairs and one for an all-in fight. A shapeshifter. I'm starting to like this. Let's investigate further. Titans usually have two abilities, right? With its first ability, Heimdall switches between repair and combat modes. I bet the second ability depends on the mode. Yeah, see that splash? That's powered up repair. And that suppression missile looks like an option for attack mode. Oof, that was a lot of damage. If Heimdall goes down, there's no way this battered Fenrir pulls through. Interesting. Looks like Heimdall left a parting gift and emitted a swarm of fixers once destroyed. Evo life leaves nothing to chance. Even dead, Heimdall still finds a way to contribute. Speaking of that, I guess we can snatch that one for research if we're quick enough. A couple months work and maybe we can have something like that on the black market. We'll meet again, Commander. Hanks out.